Coach, does training camp get a little easier when the numbers get cut down and you have a more workable number? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you have one session now, um, and the caliber and the pace of the practice moves up, the skill level, um, you know, when you get those kind of reps in. But we still got three games to go uh, and still some some guys that we got to make some decisions on. Um, but uh, those three games will make those for us. You had said earlier in camp that uh, the last two games you probably want. You're almost close to set lineup here. I'd assume then tomorrow night in Montreal we'll see some of those questionable or bubble guys. Yeah. Um, well, you, we're going to have the next two games. I mean, there'll be some tinkering. Um, but we're going to have uh, the majority of our guys in. Just start Talbot uh, Talbot's day-to-day -day right now. And no Ridley Gregg on the ice this Ridley blocked, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, five, six, seven shots. I don't know what it was. He's unable to walk um, <laughs> today. No structural damage, but um, the kid's a tough kid. He'd be out there if he could, but uh, we'll get him healthy before we put him back on the ice. DJ, where do you think it, I think we kind of know, but where do you think the questions remain here as, as you go down the stretch here in the last week? Well, who's going to start us, our, our, uh, uh, the center between Kelly and, and Watson at this point? Um, you know, uh, the starting six defensemen, uh, who are they going to be and who are their partners going to be, um, and, and those will all play themselves out here in the next little bit. Are you hoping they play themselves out, though, that, so that maybe Saturday you can give some guys a night off and at, 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 at that point and then get ready for the regular season? Is that well, I, I want to see everyone play great. I, I'm not into uh, seeing a guy play his way off. That's not going to do me anything. Uh, make me make a real hard decision and by me I mean our, our staff management coaches um, if everyone plays good that's a real good problem just on what have you thought of uh, what is what have been your thoughts on Derek Broussard's game this far really smart player I think he's gotten better every game that he's played uh, last game clearly being his best game um, you know he'll get another one uh, if not two and, and then we'll have to make some hard decisions how have you altered your, your messaging now, maybe with a smaller group, now you're down to basically 30 guys? How is that uh, for you in terms of delivering a message? Well, we're, we're I mean, the message is we've got to continue to get better. We know, you know, the season's coming quickly. Um, and you got three more practice runs at it, and before you know it, it's here. And it'll be here tomorrow. Um, it'll seem like just that. And you can't waste days like today. Um, with an opportunity to get better with your line mates, with your touches, um, the game tomorrow, the, you know, the practice, all these things have got to be in the, in the thought process of be ready for when the puck drops in Buffalo. Where are you seeing the growth so far in this group over last year? Confidence level, um, for sure. Um, I, I think when you put a guy like Giroux and Debrinkat out there as well, it just, these are, these are real... NHL players that the league knows and, and, and knows as, as top players, um, I think that helps the young guys have confidence because as much confidence they have when you go in and you go into Washington and you see Ovechkin and you see all the, you know, the league's best, um, you know, you still know you're a tier under them. You know, you, know, you haven't proven that you can beat the Barkoffs and, and the Tampas and these guys. And, and when you bring those guys in, I think it helps with our confidence. Um, but at the end of the day, you earn your own confidence in this game and in this world, and uh, we've got to earn it. What do you think the core of this team that's been here for a couple of years has learned about getting off to those quick starts in the regular season, which it just feels like you guys have been so good in the back half, but kind of torpedoed yourselves almost to, to get out of the game. Yeah, I, I mean, you don't want to make excuses, but last year with, with COVID wiping us out in November, um, you know, that, that put us way behind the eight ball. Um, if you go back and you look at the roster and the, and I don't even think we practice in the month, it was a horrific month for everyone involved. Um, you know, and, and, and clearly we know we got to get out to, to a good start. You've got to be in every game. You've got to chip away at points right from the get-go. And, you know, it's pro sports, and, and we're big boys, and, and we've got to be ready when, that's, when, that, uh, when the season starts. You mentioned getting better before the season starts. Where do you see that for, for you guys for these next three games? What's that going to look like? Well, I just starting to get familiar to where the puck's going to go. Let's be predictable. Let's the best teams know where the puck's going. They play in groups of five all over the ice. You know, it, when you, when I'm watching the game on tape, I'm you know I need to see five back in the D zone. I need to see five in the neutral zone. You know, offensively make the right plays. You know, it's not just you know because you got good players go out there and just make plays. There's there's structure involved in it and do the right things. You know, odd man rushes. You know. Uh, all these little things that you do when the year starts, we got to start honing in to them now and get better every single game. As well as Shane Pinto has 
played this camp in the preseason. He missed almost all of last year. Does that mean the ceiling's even higher for him and it has room to grow? Well, I, I think last year, multiple times, myself and Pierre said, you know, such a huge loss with Shane. Um, you know, that, that at the end, two years ago when he played, we're like, wow, this is a real hockey player. And, and to lose him for the amount of time that he was out last year set us back significantly. Uh, and, and to have him and to have that depth, that center that we have right now is set up for years to come. Um, you know, and, and it only bodes well for us. Now we have to stay healthy. Uh, and if we can do that, um, you know, you know, as some of the best centers in the league start to retire and get older, these are three good young centers. Who do you go with tomorrow? Uh, Forsberg's going to play tomorrow. And then what's it? With Talbot out, uh, does, how much does that change the plan for, for, for the goalies? Well, he's day-to-day, -day, so um, so uh, so guard will back up.